So your whole your whole job, your life is just drugs. Down a fing trap! Um, excuse me, sir, but my eyes are down here. Oh, hi. So it pays to get your drugs tested. You know, yeah. it pays to be safe. On his way to test his drugs and he finds free why, hello to all of you beautiful people. Welcome to the first installment of this year's Shambhala Festival videos. Now, there is a heck of a lot of stuff that we cannot show on YouTube. So if you do want to see the full uncensored, uncut video that makes me look really freaking bad, head on over to our Patreon page. And also, if you haven't already, you can head on over to psychsubstance.shop and pick up one of our very own hooded psychedelic trip onesies or a hooded psychedelic trip blanket. These are super soft and wear it on your head. We do have limited stock and they are selling fast. And as always, this video is being created for education and harm reduction. What you're going to see is me teaching the festival goers about safe drug use, or at least doing my best to teach them about the effects of drugs on their brain so they can make safer and smarter decisions. And so can you. Cheers, guys. Are we good? All right. So I am here with Daniel. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. You were saying it's your first year on the medical team. That is correct. All right, I'm here with James. James, nice to meet you, man. You said you were looking for me. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Tell me the so, story. Okay, so somebody gave me a DMT uh, trip. Uh, they gave me a DMT uh, pen that okay. looked like THC. I took it, oh, no. and then I got high as fuck. Oh, no. And then oh, I no, 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 let's backtrack. So you didn't know it was DMT? I did not know it was you DMT. You thought it was THC? Yeah. All right, I'm here with Lando. Lando, yeah. it makes you think of Star Wars. You're a Lando Carissian. That's what everyone asks. <laughs> Do they? That's I'm awesome. I'm a betrayal friend. I'm a nice guy. I don't, yeah. Don't, I don't betray Leia. No, I don't want to say I'm your friend. Or Han. Hi. You are a beautiful person. Yes. We have watched you. Oh my Hi. God. We've been wanting to meet you for so many have years. Have you? So of course. many years. Of course. And now you, here we are. You've helped us. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta crouch way down. Yeah. Yes. I love you. And I always watch your videos, and you're just amazing. Thank you, you. The best information, and I just love that you love people and want people to do this fun thing. So I, I just want people to experience life. I actually was here as a baby. Your parents brought you here as a yeah, baby? Yeah, kids were allowed here before, <laughs> no. so they brought me here as a baby, so I no, came here. my first year back. This? this is Baby Sage. Hello, Psych Substance. We're friends. Friends. Yes. yes. And, okay. And we would love a hug. Yes. Of course. Come here. We uh, we found you like in high school. And we found you in high school. Eight, oh, shit. eight years ago. Yeah. Eight wow. Years ago. And wow. This is like the reason we even know about this festival. So it's been a long time coming. This is our it, first. This is your first year. What are you doing? Oh, I just got off shift as Sean Ambassador, and now I'm gonna go book about. Book about. I'm gonna go on a book about. You're a proud book. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Maybe I'm old. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't Tell know. me. I mean, well, a book is like you know what? I'm actually not a book. I feel like books are people who come to festivals that are like ragamuffins. They come a little unprepared. I feel like a book wouldn't call themselves a book. Yeah, exactly. You know? And they've it's, got it's like unbookly. they've got like one pair of pants, <laughs> just vibes. Last night. Uh, during one of the sets, I found a bag on the ground. Uh, there was some capsules in it. But it didn't look quite like Molly, so I wanted to make sure that it was something that I was familiar with. I decided to go to the drug testing tents. I developed a passion for chemistry. Did you really? In, in high school. Oh, nice. Went to college for biochemistry. Mm. And it's uh, kind of shed a lot of light on the relationships that humans have with substances. And I work in the psychedelic space as well. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, so I worked in a ketamine clinic for two years. Oh, wow. I worked on a psychedelic clinical trial. I feel like we could talk for hours. Yeah, yeah. I want to get, what was the clinic like? Oh, it's my first day on the medical team. Oh, it's your first day? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I have How do you like it tomorrow. so far? Oh, it's been good. Just mostly ankle injuries, you know. You'll, like, twist your ankle at night, and you might be high on ketamine or something like that, and you don't notice it, and you wake up the next morning, and you can't walk. You mentioned ketamine. Do you think that's the most common drug here, if you had to guess? Uh, yeah, that, and I think acid's been really big this year. Uh, talked to a lot of people that have been dosing. I've heard there's been a lot of heroic dosing going on with LSC this year. Are you guys on anything right now? Or are you sober yeah, right now? Yes, acid. acid. <laughs> We're on, on two right jobs yes, acid. Yes. Wow. We're on a lot of acid. I love um, the warmth, though. You guys are having that full lovey no, acid vibe. Really that's just how it is. So like, after LS Stream, he just, like, gives it to us. Oh, he gave really? us everything that we needed. I love that you got a tab of acid on your tongue. I do. Yeah. Mixing it with ketamine is just like I've the never shit. done that. What does it feel like? <laughs> so uh, you've done ketamine, obviously. I've seen yeah. your videos. So you want me to tell it again? All right, I got you. Your wallet and phone. Yeah, wallet and phone. Anyways, they fucking they got returned to the lost and found, and it was unreal. Dude. You're lucky like, as there's fuck. no yeah, lucky like Jack Sparrow, dude. Yeah. I got Jack Sparrow's luck. Ah, fuck yeah.
I'm gonna end this now. I love gonna it. end it already. You, end it on a good note? You, you scared to keep chatting? I want to no, hear more about this just... DMT pen. What? How long did it take you to realize it was DMT? Uh, like you must have known immediately. You tasted it. You're like, that's not weed. No, it's not immediate. I don't know. It was weird. I just tell half a story and run away. What happened, I man? I just closed my eyes and laid back. That's all I did, and uh, I think that's all I remember doing. But apparently, I lost my phone and my wallet. And so how long do you think you were blacked out for? Uh, so I'm, I'm walking on my way to the uh, drug testing center, and uh, I find another bag on the ground. And inside that bag, there's about 50 different bags of uh, four strips of uh, LSD. It looks like blotter paper. What? Uh, so I picked that up and uh, might as well test that too. Uh, I also had a couple bags of ketamine. I wanted to make sure that it uh, wasn't... Can uh, I see the acid? You got to show oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to show me this. This is my first year pretty much sober. Yeah, okay. By pretty much, I mean I microdose. Every other year, I was, say, on uh, prescription stimulants. Yeah. I was drinking something called Kratom. I was just on something or other. Yeah. And it is so amazing being here sober and just getting high off the energy of everybody. Oh, yeah. The underlying thing that inspired my interest is that biochemistry is kind of learning to speak human in the way that everything in our body is interrelated and everything like that because through that lens you can view these substances as a tool and it's a lot harder to ascribe negative and positive aspects to them. I, I agree. I mean, they are tools and I could use a hammer to smash your head in or I could build a house for you to live in. Exactly. Like, how am I going to use the tool? It's not the tool that's the bad thing. Yeah. It's the user. Yeah. So you were saying before we record that you had some issues doing too much acid. Tell me yeah, about I've that. Had, I've had some phases. When I was like 19, 20, it was, it was pretty bad for a minute where one day I would do two or three tabs and the next day I'd be like, mm, maybe I'll do five. I think I'm definitely allergic to mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys came down to my level. I'm tired. Yeah. This is good. I don't mind. I'm actually um, yeah, but, it's uh, probably a little pow -wow. Yeah, no, I took mushrooms when I was like 15, had a great time, but like seems like every time I've taken them before, and I've probably had them like 20 times after, okay. and each time it's got consecutively worse. Like darker? No, just like so sick. I don't no, even feel like, yeah, a lot of like the trippiness. I just immediate gut rot, headache, just horrible. What drug do you think you've responded the worst to? Me? Yeah. Um, Selvia? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no one has a good salvia experience. Do you remember the early days of YouTube? Have you seen uh, Gardening on Salvia? No. No? So it pays to get your drugs tested. You yeah. know, it pays to be safe. Yeah. Yeah, totally. On his way to test his drugs and he finds free... Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Oh you no, I some? lost one. You want some? Did you can subscribe to many parts of the evil YouTube from following the video with a link up video. Join our Patreon, patreon.com slash substance. What would you say is your favorite drug to do here? Mushrooms, for sure. Yeah. Everyone falls in one camp, right? You got the acid camp, yeah. you got the mushroom camp. They don't usually fight each other. Some people from the camps hang out with each other, mm -hmm. but everyone has a preference. Oh, yeah. So you're a mushroom guy. Yeah, mushroom guy. Uh, I did Texas orange cap two I've nights ago. I've never heard of that. What is that? It's, uh, well, it's a strain of mushroom, and it's got a big orange cap on it, and they're usually pretty Interesting. massive. And they're psilocybin? Yeah, psilocybin, yep. Uh, and then we did penis envy as well. It's because, you know, there's the red-capped muscaria, Emanese muscaria, which is uh, muscimol. It's, yeah. a, it's a different compound. Yeah, I, I believe so. I'm, I'm still pretty new to mushrooms, okay. so. So everybody has a different neurochemistry, right? And we all have different um, enzymes that are more present in our guts. Uh, there's something called monoamine oxidase, which inhibits certain drugs. And then you can take something called a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, which would be harmala alkaloids. Like when you take uh, ayahuasca, do you know what ayahuasca is? Yeah, yeah. The only reason the DMT is activated is because of these inhibitors that deactivate enzymes. So there might just be the chance that your body doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the right enzymes to really metabolize the mushrooms properly. Everybody's like this. There are some drugs that you could take that I puke off of. We're all different. So mushrooms are just probably not your cup of tea. And what I see people do a lot of the time, especially with weed, is all their buddies smoke weed. Everyone loves weed and they try to force themselves to love weed. But maybe they have mega sensitive cannabinoid, cannabinoid receptors. And it's like... And, and you want to, right? You want to be part of the group. I want to. I want to love it, but I, I just can't. I swear weed fucks me up more, more than, than anything. anything. What's that like? Um, you just feel really good. I don't know. It's so hard to explain what a drug is like. So you know how you like kind of get the K legs and the Yeah, I, like I couldn't really walk. Yes, okay, so, so imagine that. It's, it's but just with a, little, a little bump. Just do a little, like maybe a, however, what's your tolerance of acid? Do that. Okay. And then just like maybe one or two bumps of K, like. Whatever your tolerance is with that. You know, balance it out a little what bit. What do you start with though? 
Acid. I start with acid. Start with acid. acid. Okay. Yep. Start and with acid. Yep. Wait till your come up. Once you start getting the visuals, That's you do a little bit of K. It kind of makes your visuals a little bit more enhanced. And but you vibe. get this just like yes. kind of melty, groundy like, feeling. Yes, I don't know. It's you're my flirty. favorite combo. It like really got me out of the hate, like the kratom haze, because I used to work at a car wash and pop like 15 kratom capsules. So what was the dose you were taking? Uh, I think they were like 0.5. Yeah, so I would be taking like 14 of those and just like euphorically washing cars. So you were on about 7 grams a day then? Yes. It okay. wasn't daily though, was it? But it was like 5 times a week and then oh. I started realizing that it could potentially become a problem because, or I think it's good that I got out because slowly my Kratom self started forming with my sober self and I also started like smoking some cheap pesticide bottom of the ground weed and then I became a different person and it took me like months to just kind of form back to the norms of society or, or a version of yourself that you enjoy did, did you find you weren't liking yourself anymore uh, what, what was the problem with it I guess the problem with it was my interaction with people it just felt like I was out of the norm and couldn't like interact normally and my humor was all was all over the place so you didn't feel like yourself uh, I felt like a spastic ADHD version of myself. I can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> I was diagnosed ADHD and I swear taking Kratom and the ADHD medication of course. made it so much worse. Highly yeah. exacerbated the symptoms. Mm -hmm. I thought I was focusing, but really I was just masturbating all day long. Yeah. Mentally oh, and, and literally. But I thought it was just because I was going through puberty. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's, it's easy to conflate the two, I suppose. It is, it is, it is. So you're off Kratom now? Yes. Yeah, I mean, but now it's like, I don't even want to go back, because even like, just the don't. smell of You did test one of these, right? I did, yeah. I, I just tested and it. And it just said indole? Because you know they can't really right. tell you what right. it is. The mass spectrometer can't read the paper. Exactly. So they just did an Ehrlich reagent. It turned purple, I guess. It turned purple. It could be a mushroom. It could be, there you go. You know your shit. It could be so many things. Right. Chances are it's LSD, yep. just like price-wise. Cody, you said? Cody, yeah. Cody, yeah. nice to meet you, man. Nice How's you. your time going? Uh, it's, it's amazing. I yeah? this place, yeah. Yeah? yeah. What is your um, what's your favorite drug to do here? If you had to pick one. Mm. Not a whippet girl, not a coke girl. Wine, weed, ketamine, acid. Classic yes. festival drugs. Yeah, I used to hear more whippets here. Honestly, I'm not hearing the crack as much. Yeah, it's, me neither. It's moved more to the ketamine. Yeah. Everyone it's loves ketamine. Because the womp is really nice on ketamine, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, ketamine gotcha. in the village. Ketamine's been my favorite this uh, this trip, but Probably I just favorite. learned there's different types of ketamine. One will make your legs feel a little bit more loose, but one will make you feel a little bit more energetic. Well, I'm forgetting now there's too many drugs in my head, <laughs> but I think it's the R that is more psychedelic. Okay. The S is supposed to be the um, calmer one. I spilled a vial on my hand and decided to just eat the whole, what, it, what the puddle in my hand. Uh, and then I ate maybe three or four points of molly throughout a couple of days, smoked DMT maybe three times, uh, drank maybe like a, a half gallon of San Pedro mescaline juice. What? Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. And uh, definitely took some mushrooms at some point. I probably took at least an eighth of mushrooms. So what's your count? I think what, like five or six drugs at this point? What do you Yeah, add? so yeah, Damn. like five or six different, different psychedelics. Uh, but then it was a, a dab. The dab that broke uh, James's brain. Again, back to the science, every drug has a mirror image. So say you had um, ketamine. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have the molecule, right? And now yep. picture a mirror, it flips. Okay. So Ray Semic is 50% one side, 50% the other. Yeah. Because we're, we're smart monkeys over here, we decided how to isolate just one side. And so R would be just uh, the right-hand side. Like naturally, every drug is a 50 50 mix of the two mirrored images of the two isomers. No idea how that works at all. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. I can say the words. I don't know how the fuck do you isolate that shit. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. But they found that the dr same drugs have slightly different effects depending on which mirrored image you take, yeah. which is wild. What drugs do you find you're drawn to? Do you more so cater towards ones that you know are going to be mentally safe for your uh, physiology? I think that I always try to balance. The, the risk and the safety profile of things. I, it's, it's hard for me to let myself go too much just because I'm so wrapped in with the biochemistry of it. I, I do my research before I take a substance and it, just because I take my health so seriously in, in terms of diet and the gym and 
you know, part of my passion for biochemistry is uh, like trying to live a long and healthy life. And I love like, all the characters. Okay. Imagine and that's it. just with hella visuals, okay. like that kind of K leg, that it's, dance, like the. You feel amazing. Yeah. yeah. And so so, we so, so do... is it better than say candy flipping? Like you, you like oh, yes. that? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, you still. Do, we, we we used to before. Used to, right. We used to go to raves and we would Always do. Molly. Molly acid and that was like our mix you know Not a Molly girl anymore have you ever had a really spiritual drug experience yes. yeah. tell me about your most spiritual one I started screaming different profanities I think I was like spelling Satan screaming to everybody around me that uh, maybe there was like some like 9,000 year plague that we were all going to uh, have to experience Did you have together. a Christian background uh, I do, I do, okay. yeah. yeah. That yeah. makes sense then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had like a really spiritual experience on psychedelics? Something that really changed you? Not, not really. I haven't had one of those moments. Like meeting like, God. You yeah, haven't had that. No. I, do you want that? DMT, I want to try it. Pretty sure I pissed myself. Uh, it happens. Yeah. I remember my brother was trying to hold me down uh, with my other friend and I, I I grabbed his necklace, I broke his chain off. It's weird, it's almost like uh, my vision was completely gone. I was almost on like a battlefield and I was like this spiritual tank and I was kind of fighting through all this weird trauma throughout my life. I came out of it feeling so relieved. It was mind blowing. That was on shrooms. What was your dose? Uh, I probably ate the bag like Doritos. It was probably like eight or nine grams. No idea. You were just like, fuck it. That's what we're, I we're going, di we're diving deep I was today. Definitely not there. I was in space. It was, it was great. You're brave as fuck. Yeah. That terrifies me. <laughs> you will <laughs> never catch me doing that. Yeah. Since you research everything so thoroughly, is there any drug that a lot of people take that you would not take? I think that MDMA is. Get, gets abused a bit too cavalierly. Yeah. I, I but think. But you can it, safely do it here and there. You, you no, you definitely you know, the three can. Three-month rule. Yeah, you definitely can, and it, it does come from a certain bias because I do find myself a little bit more affected by, you know, the the day after blues and being able to fall asleep, um, and I'm very in touch with the balance of my neurotransmitters, and I can sense when my mood is not where it should be. You might and, be like hyper vigilant then. To yeah, degree. yeah. So I think that part of it comes from a bias in that regard. Yeah. But. With those experiences in my back pocket, I do find it hard to compulsively do those type of substances. You're very well, you're well articulated. Thank you. Yes, you speak very well. Thank you. And you stay off the kratom. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't want to see any more of the green sludge near your face. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm like, good. I'm going to go back to my tent and <laughs> snort some kratom. I yeah. The beauty of it, though, is I was getting really into long distance running. And if you're going to do DMT, my advice would be crystal. Okay. Don't do the vape pen. Don't vape. Okay. You need too much. Do you know who Terrence McKenna is? Yes. Yep. He would, um, his whole thing was three big hits. Okay. All right, so you basically get 30 to 50 milligrams, and you have to vape it, and you take three big hits, and what happens is after the second one, you get really scared. Okay. You take the second one, everyone, ev I did this, everyone's like, I've had enough, I'm done. No, no, it's, it's so intense. You're like, I'm done, I can't go any further. You have to take the third one. Okay. When I used to take Kratom all the time, I used to think it made me work out better because yeah, I could push through the pain. Yeah. Yeah. But then you can also learn to enjoy the pain, mm. which you're never going to have the opportunity to do that on Kratom because you're always running from the pain. Yeah, so it true. stops you from having the ability to really enjoy all the range yes. of emotions life has to offer. Because it got to a point where I wouldn't run without Kratom because I just feel so shitty. That's called dependence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. It's hard to recognize And I'm not judging it. you. I'm yeah, not yeah. Ju I've, I've been there so many times. I it's feel just, like an idiot. It's healthy to be able to call a spade a spade. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's that thing where it's like if you stay there, you're it's scarier to not take it. Once you like commit to the journey, yeah. it's beautiful. Okay. So don't get stuck in that in that in between. And uh, DMT metabolizes very quickly. That's okay. part of the problem. Yeah. So you want to smoke as much of it as fast as possible mm -hmm. to overwhelm the receptors. And is it true when they say that? When you're in your DMT experience, you get two doors. One is like a trip door where you're just going to have fun and see colors, and the other one is a dark door. That's the third hit. That's the third hit. That's the third hit. Okay. If you take the second one, you're choosing to stay here. Okay. It'll be really trippy. You might you might actually like look through the door. You'll be in like, a, they call it the waiting room. Right. You might be in this in-between place where you see colors, it's beautiful, you might leave your body a bit, but you won't get there. Okay. So, yeah. You want to get there.
that's where the real magic is with the experience is getting there. That's when you hear people be like, that was, it's, it's so weird talking about it because I've done it dozens of times and it feels more real than this. Really? Like talking to you right now, I know this is real, yeah. but that yeah. feels even more real and it's just something you have to experience. That's crazy. It is wild. Yeah, I definitely want to. Like I've watched bit. myself leave my own body and you get like reality cracks open. It's like you wake up and you're like, I was having a dream that I was a person. It's cool. That is the trippiest thing I've ever heard. It is wild. Yeah. It doesn't have to be three big heads. You, you could vape 50 in one big hit if you have the lungs for it. But you want to get it down really fast. So you would just huge hit, breathe out. Don't even, don't wait. Don't be like, hmm, what's, no, no. Huge hit, huge oh. hit. And now, if you can still move your hands, take another hit. Okay. If you can't move your hands, then you're done. Wow. Okay. You keep going until you can't move. Wow, holy. And would you suggest like a, a shaman with you or? Like For NN DMT, people do it with 5-MEO, they have a shaman. 5-MEO um, is just, it's like DMT but on crack. It's a little scarier. Yeah. Would I do it here? I did it here once, just I didn't break through. Um, but for my first time, I've heard people say they've done it here. It's not ideal. I want to be intentional. Like I would want to be, you know, with, with someone that I care about, honestly, in a quiet space, y y comfortable couch, because you just want to lean back and just melt. Like my first breakthrough, I was on my friend's couch. Yeah. I came to and I was like, oh my God. I. I'm here? I was like, how long have I been gone? He's like, bro, three minutes. I'm like, what? Yeah. It felt like I had to recalibrate to being human. So you're being held down. Yeah, I was being held down uh, and basically had to be thrown into my friend's car and they were just watching me for a few hours. And, uh, oh, I remember there was a, a security and a lady watching over me. They asked me questions like, uh, who's the president? And I said, Donald fucking Trump! It's something like that, you know, you know, just, you know, just, I was there, but I wasn't there, right, right. you know, um, right. yeah. You just barely, like, eked out the words. Yeah, yeah. Your I, brain's I, I, just barely functioning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Run um, on fumes, all right. Yeah, you know, I'm still trying to process it to this day. Interesting. Um, but, you know, uh, I feel like I have made a full recovery from it miraculously. How many years ago was this? Uh, it was about six, seven years ago oh, now. that's a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so... Let's see what else happens. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's the the majority of it. And and me as uh, I, I was on a very you know spiritual quest at the time, trying to trying to find myself and you know why why I'm here and whatnot. And uh, I believe the next morning I decided to smoke some DMT after it anyway. And uh, everything seemed to be okay after that. But uh, yeah, I definitely definitely had some screw looses from that one. Um, what did it take to tighten them? <laughs> Well, any final words for anyone watching or for festival goers? Any? I always say, you can always take more. You can't take less once you get there. And you know, remember to start start low and go slow. <laughs> Wise words. Nice meeting you, Daniel. Yeah, it's been Cheers. a pleasure. Thank I'm you. Glad for the I actually interview. got to see you this year. Yeah. Yeah, you're great. You're natural at this. Beautiful. <laughs> Please walk into the frame. I love your outfit. Um, excuse me, sir, but my eyes are down here. Oh, hi. I see that. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> that was cute. So your whole your whole job, your life is just drugs. My life is drugs. That's how I, I feel too. I My life is drugs. drugs. There you go. Yeah. I love that you got a tab of acid on your tongue. <laughs> yeah, I do. Are you still a practicing Christian? Um, not like in a community sense. But you don't but need that. It's just how you feel inside. Yeah. It's just yeah. yeah. For for me, it's like I. But do you pray? I do, yeah. yeah I think yeah. prayer is powerful. Yeah, yeah. I pray. I pray quite often. There's something to be said about putting, you know, your fate into something bigger than you. You know, it's nice not realizing you're the center of the universe. Absolutely. Yeah. Our society is kind of just lost yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Very lost. Yeah. I like festivals like this because even though everybody's lost here, we all come together with a common goal of love, peace. Everyone unites in a very warm, open-hearted way. After that, yeah. No, I went to the Lost and Found, found my wallet. And, my and happy story, happy ending. Ooh, Sweet. Yeah. Thanks for the interview, Jack Sparrow. Rock on, dude. Right. Jack Sp That's what I'm literally going to dress as next year. There you go. You got to do Jack it now. Jack Sparrow. You got to do it. brought your hooded shirt blanket as well. You brought what? The hooded, your, your hooded mushroom trip blanket. Oh, you brought it with you? Yeah, she's really enjoying sleeping with That's it. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you for buying it. Of course. I appreciate that. I knew you were jacked, but seeing you in real life, I'm like... Anything else you want to share? Uh, just that I love Shambhala, and if you've never been to this festival, you really, really, really gotta come.
it's the best one. It's the best of all the festivals. Anyway, we'll hey, leave you with that. Pleasure, man. Thank you, so Thank you for the interview. You're yeah, natural at this. Yeah, I appreciate it. Cheers, Take man. Care. <laughs> Not to overwhelm you. Good. We're good. Okay. I just okay. want to say hi quick and get a, and get a photo yeah, with you. Yes. Okay. No, no, take a picture. Sorry. You, you take a picture with them. And, and then we'll chat. Yeah. Yeah. You guys okay. okay. Chat okay. Let's do a picture. I really love your YouTube. I've been watching you for a really long time. Okay. You're gonna do a picture with your mask on. Huh? Like <laughs> that. <laughs> Who's got the oh, camera? Wait, yeah. She's gonna take it and then send it to me on Instagram. Are you Sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah. Y'all got magnificent vibes. Cheers. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have the best time ever. I cannot. Thank believe you for your got, energy. We this was in, good. We were wanting. We were talking about yes. running into you while we were here. Well, I actually we saw really? you last year. I was like, betrayed too hard. Betrayed too hard to say hi. I was like, I want to say hi, but like, I, I don't know what to say right now. And then we saw you again, and I was like. Now's Watch the yourself. time. We have to do it now. Do it now. Watch yourself. I'm only on two tabs of acid. Oh my I can do this. <laughs> I can do actually. Four <laughs> tabs of acid. Well, I guess the we ground is we, too wonky well, to we stand found, on. We found out they were double dipped after taking them. So we're <laughs> yeah. like, oh no. Yeah. So oh, no. even yesterday they were double dipped. We didn't even oh, know no. that we were doing double what we were thinking we yeah. were doing. But it was amazing. <laughs> there you go. We're losing our hats. We're losing yeah. our hats. All right, have fun Let's in the river. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.